all right welcome back now the colonel gave 14 days ultimatum to use esn if eastern governors refuse to ban day and night cow grazing all right the news in details now the colonel the leader of the indigenous people of Bihafra has given the eastern governors 14 days ultimatum if they are not ready to stop the Fulani X-Men from grazing in the day. All right, and then the Namdekano gave 14 day ultimatum to use Eastern Security Network to step in as far as the governors refuse to take action or show their reluctance to make movement. The leader of the Eastern Security Network called Namdekano recently went to his Facebook page account and tweeted that we wish to humbly and most submissively call upon all the governors of the East to, as a matter of urgency, ban all manner of open grazing in the region in compliance with the 1969 statutory law of hashtag Nigeria that banned such provocative and primitive practice by Fulani S men. He said he still went further more to explain the similar things that happened in the land of Yoruba. So he expects that the same bold step needs to be taken in action. In his conclusion, Namdekano remind the Eastern governors that if 14 days interval and no action is taken, he will step in with his Eastern Security Network, he said. Okay, and then as it is, according to his statement, all right, okay, Mazi Namdekano, okay, we wish to humbly and most submissively call upon all the governors of the Eastern, Eastern State all the governor of east in nigeria to as a matter of urgency ban all manner of open grazing in the region in compliance with the 1969 statutory law hashtag nigeria that banned such provocative and primitive practice by fulani s men the bold step taken by yoruba governors in banning open grazing in their region is commendable and as a must as a such must be reciprocated and consolidated by a similar pronouncement in the east if after 14 days there is no firm and decisive action by eastern governors to ban open grazing in our land hashtag esn will step into the bridge to commence the enforcement of this 1969 anti-grazing law across the entire region don't say you were not informed or given power warning all right and then that had been said so far by nam the colonel all right well the whole thing is sounding more interesting right now and um, as it is a lot of people have commended nam the colonel on this one and then i have a lot of comments coming in and then according to washington kcob he has said that well the great ohama dk has spoken as teach in time saves nine don't say you were not warned before it is too late god bless mazi nam the colonel for us all right that's what washington has said so from washington kcob all right and the meanwhile mata Uye has said that well they will not listen you know if one governor starts the talk first the other one will go to the top to betray him in order to get favor from the fulani government okay they misinterpret longer trout for smartness okay that has been said by mata Uye and the chin uber kevin i said that you are really changing the narrative generations shall celebrate you keep the good work the most joyful part of it is the rate at which young able men are leaving the military in nigeria will end okay 
all right the way they are leaving the military all right nigeria will end very soon very soon and uh, that's what he has said so far all right and then a lot of you no know, things have been said okay and then as a chiwolu isaac elikwachi has said that the only leader i never regret standing with him and being his fan is the only leader Igbos. Igbos leaders like no other Mazen and Bekano Fulani will regret doing anything with MNK. And um, Mohammed Oni has said that absolutely the time has come for the Yoruba people to engage in solidarity campaign with the South Easterners. Two, we are all together in this struggle against the oppressors. Okay, and then AZ, AZ Diok has said that Odogu is a warning and last warning for that matter. Laugh out out, Iga Di my boss, big boys. Okay, and <laughs> Iga Di my big boss. Okay, that's what he has said so far on this one. Okay, well, a lot of reactions keep coming in, and then as it says, it has been said by GD Austin that they should add air and do the needful to protect our lands and territory from invaders like the Fulani Edas. Okay, well, and it is also said that don't mind them. All what they know is to beg if they want to be chairman, member of House of Assembly, governor of their own local government and state respectively. They will go to the north and beg just now. The elders are begging for IG of police, yet you say we are one. We are one in the visible nation in the sense of first class, second class, third class, and fourth class ATC. Okay, and uh, according to GBK Santos, he has said that the Oga at the top has spoken, and so shall it be. He that asks, yes, let him hear. Adi Amama or Nichaguara Obosi. Okay, hmm. All right, that is another one. Well, a lot of comments keep coming in. Well, a lot of Nigerians are saying they are they are telling their minds, most especially the Easterners right now. They are so supportive of Mazi Nam the Kano. All right, and then according to Justice Okafo, he has said that if you don't like what the man called Mazinam the Kano is doing. That means you are more than evil. Mazinam the Kano, Biriko, ESN protection from most I always. Biafra nation at last. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, 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 Adamu Bajoga. I said that the chief Ikemba of the old Igbo lands has spoken and must be listened to. Failure to do as he wished could attract every price from the relevant authorities. All right, okay, a lot have been said, my people, on this one. Okay, that is it on this. That's what we have gathered today. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.